Hello everyone. In the last lectures, we had studied about the flux linkages due to the current in a conductor, which included both internal flux as well as external flux. We also derived the inductance of a single phase line consisting of two conductors. Now, what we will try to see here that uh, what is the self and the mutual inductance of a conductor in a transmission line. Here we will consider a single phase transmission line consisting of two conductors. That is, in this conduct, uh, conductor current will go and current will return through this conductor. Let us say this is carrying current I1 and this is carrying current I2. But there will be a condition since it is a single phase line. So the current I1 plus I2 should be zero. That is, it is the going current and it is the return current. Now what we will try to see here is what part of the total inductance of a conductor is the self inductance and what is the mutual inductance. This question uh, usually uh, does not come in the exam directly but it creates a doubt in the mind of the students whenever we derive the total inductance of conductor then, uh, then how do we cater for the mutual inductance part, self inductance part. So to clarify those concepts we are trying to find the inductance separately. So what we have already studied in our uh, previous lectures or in network theory, what is self inductance? Self inductance is nothing, just the inductance of a conductor due to current in itself. And what is mutual inductance? It is the inductance of a conductor due to current in other conductor. So how do we find this? First, we will find the flux linkage. Let us say I want to find the mutual inductance of a conductor I1, current current I1 due to the current in the second conductor which is having current I2. So what I will do, I will calculate the induct, uh, uh, this flux linkage of this conductor due to current I2 and I will divide those flux linkages by the current in this conductor that is, that is I2. And how do we calculate the self inductance? It is very simple. I will just find the flux linkage due to current I1 and divide by the current in this conductor that is I1. Since we have already assumed that the circuit is linear, that is the condition B is equal to mu h here satisfies and mu is a constant. So the inductance will be a constant and it will be easily find out by dividing the flux linkages by the current. So let us start. To find the self flux linkage, that is the link flux linkage of conductor first. This is the first conductor and this is the second conductor. To find the self linkage of this conductor, what I will do? I will first calculate the flux linkages which is internal to it. That is the internal flux linkages which I already derived in previous lecture which came out to be mu naught upon 8 pi into I1. We are taking it as mu naught. You can take it as mu also. That is the uh, permeability of the conductor itself. But uh, we are assuming that the change is not that much. So I am taking it as mu naught. Now, what is the flux linkage due to outside it? I will uh, integrate from this part to infinity in every direction. So this will give me the flux linkage external to this conductor. That is, I am integrating from R to infinity here. And this formula, this formula was already derived while we were discussing about the flux linkages between two points external to the conductor. So in this way, we can write the self linkages of this conductor. Now, how do we find the mutual flux linkages? What we will do, we will try to find out the flux linkages of this conductor, that is conductor 1 due to the current in conductor 2. What I will do? I will just use this formula, this formula with some modification. What will be the modification? In this, we have taken the current I1 because I was trying to find the self part. Now I am trying to find the mutual part. So the current will be I2, the current in the second conductor, that is I2. And since I am trying to find out the mutual flux linkages of this conductor only, so what I will do? I will 
integrate from this part that is from uh, the distance of this uh, this conductor from this part from d to the infinity that is everywhere else so what it will give it will give me the flux linkages of this conductor due to current i2 and linking with this conductor only that is this part will not be there since the current uh, the flux uh, created by i2 will start acting on it only once it is re it reaches there so we will try to integrate from d instead of this place since we are find trying to find out the linkages of this conductor one that's why i have taken the limit from d to infinity that is all everywhere so total flux linkages will be the sum of self linkages as well as mutual linkages i am writing flux link mutual linkages as psi 1 2 what does it mean it means flux linkages of the conductor 1 due to con current in conductor 2 so due to current in conductor 2 flux linkage of uh, the conductor 1 will be derived by integrating from d to infinity so let's solve it i have written these two by summing here now after solving what i will get dx by x gives log x natural log x and i will put the limit r to infinity in this and d to infinity in this now we can see that i1 plus i2 is already zero or i2 is equal to minus i1 so i will put these values in the next part so what i will come get mu naught upon 2 pi i1 by 4 that is the internal flux internal flux only linkage only and on integrating this what i will get it will be natural log k where k will tend to infinity and minus natural log r similarly what it will give it will give natural log k k tending to infinity minus natural log d so you can see this thing is present in both sum i can take it common after taking it common what i get i1 plus i2 and all other terms remain same so i1 plus i2 is already zero so this term vanishes what is the remaining term minus i1 natural log r and minus i2 natural log d okay so what it will give after putting i2 is equal to minus i1 simply this minus minus will convert into plus only so it will give me total flux linkage as mu naught upon 2 pi i1 by 4 plus i1 natural log d by r i can write it easily by taking i1 common and writing 1 by 4 as natural log e to power 1 by 4 okay so after writing this what i will get simply mu naught upon 2 pi i1 natural log d by r e minus 1 by 4 what it is it is only r dash what we have written in previous lectures now to find inductance of the conductor i will uh, i will divide the total flux linkages by the current in that conductor so it will give me the inductance mu naught upon 2 pi natural log d by r dash or after putting the value of mu naught upon mu naught as 4 pi into 10 is to power minus 7 it will give me 2 into 10 is to power minus 7 natural log d by r dash henry per meter that is it is the inductance per unit length of the conductor to calculate the total inductance of the conductor i will have to multiply this with the length of the conductor in the next part we will study about the inductance of a conductor when a, when it is surrounded by multiple strands okay we will see in the next part if you find my lectures helpful i request you to subscribe and share my youtube channel so that everybody uh, comes to know and also please press the bell icon there so that you get the notifications whenever a new video is uploaded to my channel thank you